Good morning. This is Denise. Welcome to my home. Oh, I don't know what today holds. It's still dark outside. It is now five minutes to seven. I wanted to get with you early. Have your cup of coffee. I'm going to have my drink. Um, we're going to have a Timu haul today. Is that okay? I hope so. This haul, I've had these things for a little while. So, but in this haul, I got the nativity set. So we're going to have a chance to open that up and to look at all the pieces. <clears throat> there are a lot of other things too. For those of you that are coming back, I just love you. You know, you've given me an opportunity to, to put another page in my life. Uh, to be my friend. That I can learn. I mean, there are just so many, many, many things that starting this channel has meant to me. And you are the ones that make this channel work. It's our channel. It isn't my channel. It's our channel. Um, for those of you that are new here, welcome. Welcome. I hope you find it comfortable here and that you stay. We do lots of things other than Timu Halls. Good thing because the Timu Halls are going to back off a bit. I'm going broke. <laughs> uh, I can still do a little bit, but not like I used to. And really, I've been convicted about it too. You know, I need to be a good steward of what God's provided for me. And he's provided more than enough. He always gives me more than enough. But on the same hand, you know, when it's time for me to buckle up, I need to listen. And I believe that I am. Anyhow, it's exciting. We're going to have a Timu haul today. I'm going to Habitat tomorrow. Um, if I can get out to go to, it's another thrift store that I used to go to all the time. It's called Red Door. Uh, and they fund the homeless feeding program here in town. Well, it's not here in my town. It's the town next to us. Uh, but they have really nice donations there. And uh, Senior Day is Tuesday. So I think I might get over there if I can. I kind of feel like I've got this bug that my grandkids had. So please pray for me. Um, I don't succumb easily. I kind of try to ignore things until they're <laughs> unignorable. But anyhow, so much for that. If you're new here and you like the content, I would invite you to subscribe. I would invite you to like. Both of those things mean so much to our channel, you know, to uh, gain new people and all of the likes. Uh, it, it's not hard to push the like button. I know with all of the the um, views that we have, we could have a lot more likes. And I know that you don't hate it because you guys keep coming back. So push the like button, please. Also, boy, that just slipped right through my head. The also did. Rawr. If you haven't, if you don't know anything about Timu, or you haven't made an order with Timu yet, I would encourage you to wait and listen to the tutorial that I have about making your first order. There are two really awesome deals that happen with your first order, so that's coming. Uh, I will be posting my affiliate code on the bottom here. You'll see it. Write it down. Keep that with you. That's something that we really, really need to start doing is when you place an order to put the affiliate code in the search bar. Uh, apparently it's not something that I have taught you about and I'm sorry. 
there needs to be a paper trail between our channel and Timu that they can see that if they sponsor halls that people are going to be paying attention and I know that you do uh, and your orders do go in I'm sure that they do I've heard you tell me that you ordered this order that and that's wonderful and I'm not here to say order this and order that I'm here because I really love what I do um, and I would encourage you to do two things now I don't have the advantage of doing that because well, I guess I could um, go in on the link that's in the description box and it's the link for new customers. You don't, you don't have to use it that way. I mean, it, it goes in, you just scroll down and you just have your regular search bar and, and products uh, put my affiliate code up in the search bar and do your shopping. Um, I'm not sure if you have to do both of those or just my affiliate link. I will find out and put it in this video, okay? Um, Timo is an online shopping platform. They're just babies. They're uh, a year old just before Christmas. Um, I've heard some of the people that do Timu Hall say that the first major advertisement that Timu had was last year at Super Bowl, and that launched a, a huge response. Um, Timu has done things differently than the other platforms here in this country. Uh, they've eliminated the middleman. They're able to provide great prices. I find things to be 50% to 75% less than what you find in the marketplace. This is Mama. She's saying hello. Let's not rub on the camera, okay? Come on. Um, she has decided that I'm her person. I mean, I am her person, but... She just has gotten really, really clingy here lately. Uh, and no, she's not sick. She's just demanding. Um, they've eliminated the middleman. The prices are great. They've decided to absorb the shipping, which, you know, with the others, you do have free shipping. However, you have to pay a monthly fee in order to get that as part of your benefit. With Timu, it's not that way. Uh now, with all that being said, you know, great prices and no shipping, there's a difference with the vendors. The vendors are not regulated by Timu. The prices are not regulated by Timu. So when you have 20 vendors with the same product, they're vying for uh, customers. So you might find one that has things on clearance. The same item would be higher. Otherwise, uh, there are things that you can do to find the lowest priced item. Uh, and I've gone through that in another video, but we can go through that again also today. Um, but when you put something in your cart, it great, great buy. Oh my goodness, it's a great sale. And then you go back 10 minutes later and it's gone up. The price has gone up. Well, that's the nature of this game. If you have something that's on a tremendous sale that you want to get right now, get it right now. Otherwise, uh, the price may inf inflate. If that's the case, though, if you're going to wait and do a regular order, go ahead and do that because Timu has uh, started for their program something called a price adjustment because the prices go up and down. Once you put your money on the order, the price will never go up again. And the price adjustment is something that's offered to you as the products go down because they will. Uh, it'll help to regulate the difference between the price that you paid for it and the price it is today. So that's for 30 days after you put your money on the order. Uh, it takes about 10 days to get here. Uh, that price adjustment flies no matter where the products are. If they're still at Timu, in your cart, well, no, if they're paid for, they're not in your cart anymore. Uh, if they're on their way, if they get to your home, that price adjustment is 30 days. Great deal. Great deal. Customer service is wonderful. I just told one of the customer service people yesterday um, I had a product that didn't work. And, you know, customer service is the best part of Timu as far as I'm concerned. 
These people work hard to make it work for you. Uh, they're there. You can chat with a live person. It's not, it'll be a bot to begin with, but if you ask for a, a live agent, you'll get one. You don't have to jump through hoops to get a live agent. Uh, many times they don't ask you to return the product. Uh, they just refund you. What I do is allow the refunds to go into my credit account so that I have money towards my next order. Um, okay, so that's that. That's that. Oh, there are games. There's Fishland and Farmland. Hello. Who is that? Oh, that's Gremlin. Goodness, she's just playing and getting crazy. This was my little girl that I rescued, and she has allergies, and she lost all of her fur. When I got her, she had no fur on her rear end at all. I've had her for several months now, and she's just gotten continually better. Um, she's part Mancoon, so she's by structure a big cat. She doesn't look big, but I suspect she'll get there. Um, There are several animals in here. My goodness. The woman is a hoarder. Not really. I just like. If I see an animal that I think, oh my goodness, I could do better than that. You know, the cat is outside or a stray or someone's trying to get rid of them or dogs. I have two dogs and six cats. So yes, I'm the crazy cat lady and the weird dog lady. They fill my heart. They're very, very special creatures. God has given us those eyes. Those eyes. Anyway, back to Timu. Um, the games are winnable, and there are prizes that are really, really reasonable to win. I mean, there's there are two prizes that you get, plus coupons when you win the game. The first prize is around $40. The second one is 20 or so. So it's worth playing. I've won several times, so I've gotten quite a few free items. If you go back on my videos and it says all this for free, those are the items that I had received at that point from Timu for free. Uh, there are other um, offerings that they have. Prices go down. They have sales all the time. Um, it's a fun place to shop. If you haven't shopped Timu before, Go to the website, go into Timu, don't download it, go into Timu and look around, see what kind of items that you normally get. Um, check the prices against the vendor that you usually use. I think you'll find almost 100% across the board that the items will be a much better deal for you with Timu. Um, when you decide to place your order, go into my description box. There is a link there. Uh, the link is a new customer order link for Timu. Also connects to me. Use my affiliate code that was, you saw down there. And it's also in my description box. In the search bar, you have an hour after you download the app to make your first order. That's why I suggested making a list with, you know, going in 30% off of already great prices. You just can't beat that. And you'll have access to a $100 coupon bundle. So it makes your journey with Timu a real fun start. You guys are so patient with me. My brain only holds so much and then it just kind of drains and I have to refill it. Um, I love you. And here we go. Are you ready for a haul? Okay. What should we do first? Little stuff first and then the big stuff. Okay. I heard you. Um, I'm sorry. I don't mean to eat in front of you. Or drink in front of you as the case might be. This is a Timu dress, by the way. It's not available anymore. It went out of stock as soon as I bought it, but it's orange and green, and I would not have guessed that orange and green would be a good combination, but they are. And this is a Timu necklace and Timu earrings. This earring set has a necklace also, but I wanted to wear the orange. 
Um, I'll show you the whole dress after a bit. Okay. The first item. Hmm. I wonder what it is. I honestly don't remember about a lot of this stuff because I don't. Oh, I need to get my tablet up because I didn't write prices down. I didn't do my homework, guys. I watched the tablet be out of oh, juice. No, it's not. Yay, it's almost full. Except it doesn't want to go. There it goes. Uh, let me find Timu. Timu. When I first started doing orders, I couldn't get away from saying Timo. And then I remembered cows. And every time I say Timu, I accentuate the moo. And it isn't even really pronounced Timu. It's a little different than that, but that's okay. You get the drift. Okay. I don't want to do that right now. They have stuff going on all the time, and it's it's nice, but when you want to get to something else, it makes it tough to get there. Uh, no, I don't want that right now. Go away. Okay, I'm pulling up my order so that I can go over the prices with you. Because I didn't do my due diligence and do the order pricing. I'm sorry. Okay, we're up now. Okay, this is a hot melt glue gun stand. I have fought with my glue gun. And they drip and wet all over everything, including my clothes and everything else. So I'm learning how to use one. I've used glue guns for years, but that time frame in between, I guess I forgot. Or else my glue guns aren't great. I don't know. This is, if I can open it, it's just a regular Ziploc bag. And you know what? I'm not going to keep it, so. It already had a little hole in it, I think. Okay. I paid five oh seven for this. It seems like a lot of money, but when you have a glue gun, now it has the suction cups on the bottom, so it's not going to dance all over the table. It has the removable pad here that you can break off the glue that drips into it and the glue gun I was going to get a glue gun and show you but the glue gun goes down in here like this and it sets in there very well so you're not battling with a glue gun while you're doing your crafting stuff or whatever you use your glue for I paid 507 for it and it's 699 now Watch for sales. It'll go back down again. And there are other vendors that have uh, glue gun stands. Now, I was going to tell you. Now, if, if for instance, you want a glue gun. Okay, there's the picture of the glue gun. Click on that picture. Now. You see in the corner there, there's a camera. I'm going to click that camera. And what it will do is bring up, well, it's supposed to, the vendors that have glue gun stands, and it shows all the prices. 
There's one for $4.97. There, there are a whole bunch of them. You can go through and find the best price for you. Now that you click on the picture and go to the camera up in the upper corner here, click that, and you might have to do it twice, but it'll bring the items up. You didn't leave with something, did you? And this is the very same ca um, carrier for $4.99. So you can go through and make yourself aware of all the sales. It's kind of cool. It works on everything. There, And I, sh I should qualify that because there's a dress that I want that only one vendor seems to have. Went on sale for five minutes, I think. I didn't buy it. I should have. It was a $5 sale, so it was a decent sale. I should have pulled the trigger, and I didn't. Anyhow, this vendor has it for $6.99. Use the search tool, and there's one for $4.99. So that's $2 difference. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. I think you guys know that I'm kind of, I have a hankering to make pretty things. And I've already said, I, I've kind of gotten my fingers in so much stuff. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do, but I'm going to try. These are little seed beads. Um... I know you can't see them with the cellophane on. I don't want to open them because it's sure shoot and I'll drop them everywhere. All the junk around here and I have no trash bag. Okay. You see the colors? Aren't they pretty? Now the first time I really had experience with seed beads, I was doing sequins. And I was making a costume for a little girl that was uh, skating. And you put the needle through the sequin, put it through the seed bead, and put it back down through the middle of the sequin. And it holds it down and also gives the sequin more shine and pretties. You see how pretty they are? And Timu has done, or the vendors have done, something kind of cool because they put together sets of coordinating colors. Now, there's a lot of beads here. Let's see if I can... I don't want that. Go away. Now, this is the golden color. I paid $4.98 for that thing of uh, beads. There's 150 grams, 15 grids. There's thousands of beads in here. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know it, but there's thousands. There's probably two or three hundred in each one of these grids. Now, they're not all teeny tiny. Some of them are bigger. Some of them are smaller. And I like that. Although some of the beads that I'm getting are very tiny. All of these are shiny. I like shiny. Uh, let's see if it tells how many are in. They're from 3 millimeters to 4 millimeters. Timo's really good about giving dimensions and all the things that you really need to know about what you're buying. And it's easy to not go in there and look. You look at the picture and you think, oh yeah, I want that. And you get it and then you're surprised by what you get. It's not saying how many beads are in here. There are a lot. Okay, so we started out with uh, four ninety eight, and it's four sixty six now. 
Now the next thing that I pulled out was the same kind of uh, set, except they're in black, the dark colors. I really like them. They're really pretty. And these are the real shiny ones also. 15 grids. They package them really well. Each uh, each of the grids is individual. And then the... Um, oh, those are pretty. They have purple in them too. Look at these up there. Can you see the... Right where my finger is. My pointer finger. Those have purple in them too. You remember the material I, I hauled? You may not, but it was a real... Um, it had all kinds of colors that show. It was almost like a um, hologram. And it was black with the purples and the blues, and it was beautiful. This will be pretty to play with. Now, these beads were $4.49, and they're $4.24 now. So the different colors will get you into a different ballpark. And what I was talking about with these is that the lids have, they're definitely gridded, so they seal. Um, you got to be careful because they can go away, you know, and fall all over the floor and then you'd be a sunk duck. If you're careful, all the beads stay in their little cases. They're small and convenient. Pretty cool. Um, now these things that I'm going to show you Uh oh. I got out of the orders. I don't like to do it this way. I really don't. I usually write the prices on the products and I, I totally spaced it. I was excited to get to this. And uh, I forgot. Now I bought four of these. And these are assortments of the black beads. I got. Now these beads are out of stock at this particular vendor. And there's still a bunch of them. At good prices. I'll link uh, the best deal that I find for these particular this particular assortment. Oh man, those are pretty too. Oh, <laughs> I'm shopping. In here, you'll find black and gray and the buffalo plaid. They're really pretty. And I bought three bags of these. They're 50 in each bag, four bags. And I paid um, $2.24 each. Two, four, six, eight. I still did better than I see on the others, but they go on sale all the time. So it makes it really reasonable to, oh, and there's also off-white. There's off-white, cream-colored, and white. Now, what are beads if you don't have... necklaces to put them on. I bought five of these. There are ten necklaces in each one. I got it for 89 cents. And you know, they're not bad. They're, you see these all the time. These kind of necklaces. My goal is to resell. I, I've always wanted to do this. 
And whether or not I can sell them, I don't know. But I'm going to make pretty stuff. They have like a leather... Um, necklace part. Can you see how far down they go? They're about 20 inches. And you can just string the beads on here, tie them off, make your design that you want, and you've got a necklace. It has a lobster claw clasp, and those are good clasps. And they seem to be crimped pretty well. You know that the fasteners are going to work well. I also bought a roll of, oh, and those were 89 cents. And they're 89 cents now. And you can get them in the light color or the dark color leatherette. I don't think they're real leather. Let's see. Handmade leather cords. They smell like leather. I'm surprised. Okay. I know you guys like variety in your hauls, in the hauls that you watch. I know I'm kind of heading in a different direction now. And I hope that you enjoy seeing what I'm what I'm getting. And as we go, you can watch me make stuff out of this. I plan to do um, videos of making. I just haven't had the, the stuff to do it. This is 100 yards, 2.6 millimeter suede cord. I paid $6.29 for this. 100 yards that's 300 feet now I bought the dark brown once again but they have it in different colors I'm so excited I've had pieces of stuff and nothing really concrete to do anything with uh, except for my wreath so the cord. Isn't that pretty? It's so soft. It's like squishy. I can squish into it. And it should be really comfortable to wear. It is $6.29 now, and I believe that's what I paid for it, too. $6.29. Now, these beads... Yeah, there's more beads. I know, huh? I'm sure you think this woman is crazy. It's okay. Here's the other. Black and white. Black and white. Four. The other cords. Okay. I thought these were so pretty. They have like tribal print on them. They're all different. I shouldn't say that. They're probably those that are the same. But gosh, there's some with sunflowers on them. There, there's not just splotchy stuff. They aren't all different. Let's see what kind of... They're wooden. I don't know how they do this. The orange ones like have sunflowers on them. That also has like a sunflower. What do they all do? I don't know. Look. It fascinates me to look at these things and know that there's so much work that went into putting these together and I get to make something pretty out of them. There are a lot of sunflowers in here. 
That's really cool. I'll have to make Katie a necklace. So the combinations, there's still several different kinds. Um, now I paid, I think, I paid, oh, uh, for 100 pieces, I paid 224. Uh oh, here. I keep getting out of this stuff. I don't like to be intimidated by a computer. Um, and right now they're $1.78 for 100 pieces. That's pretty cool. Now this shows you a more... Uh, no, it doesn't. I got out of it. Poo-poos. Are they pretty? Do you see why I like them? Now, these are called jump rings. And I had hauled a, a few of them. One box, about 234, or 2,240 pieces. 304 stainless. Uh, and they're jump rings. They're the, what's at the beginning and the end of a necklace to attach things to. I paid five ninety eight, and they're five thirty nine now. And they come in their own little box as well. And this one is kind of this is the neatest box. I I got some other stuff that was packaged like this. They're all individual. They all have their own individual lids. Good morning, Ginger. Okay, I'm going to stick these back in here. My table is full. Do you remember the last haul I was telling you about? The magnetic closures? For necklaces and what have you. Well, these are the first ones that I ordered. And they are... Um, these are kind of really pretty. I mean, they're, they're for more decorative jewelry. But you see, they just come apart like this. And they hug each other. Something that I really like about these is on both ends of this... There's a lobster claw clasp, so you don't have to do any major changes to your jewelry to use these. You just put them on either end of your necklace, and it's done with the clasp. Now I got them in gold and in silver. Let's see here. This one is a little bit plainer. Where'd you go? There you are. This is plainer. Do you see the lobster claw class? There's one on both sides. And you just pull them apart. And they hug each other. 
I think these are awesome for people that have issues with their hands or with, I have a shoulder that's blown. My hands don't work so well. I mean, don't hear me complaining. I am absolutely blessed. Um, and to be able to accommodate those issues and still maintain independence is just, for me, awesome. Now, for these, I paid $4.49. There are 12 pieces or six pair. Is that right? Or are there 12 pair? One, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like there are six pair. And they're $4.94 now. This is a better picture. There are advantages to having this here, huh? You can see the lobster claw clasp on each side. Now, I could kind of show you how that works because I just happen to have some necklaces in here. Okay, so you have a necklace like this. Now, these would not necessarily, well, the, the little plain silver ones would. You can get them in all different types of colors and stuff. Uh these are the first ones I saw, and I grabbed them because I had never seen them before. Let's say you have a necklace like this. It has your beads on it and everything, but you can't reach behind you to fasten it. So what you do, this side has the lobster claw, and so does this side. So you take your lobster claw clasp, open it up, See, this is how hard it is for me, but once I get them on there, then it's not going to be an issue. And you put it <clears throat> on the one side, and then on the other side, I know that you want to see and I want to be able to show you. You have your little rings on this side. Wherever you want to put it, if you want the extra two inches, do it at the end. Or if you're okay with it being shorter, do it at the beginning. Take this item that you put on this side and open your lobster claw clasp. Doing pretty well for a blind person with no dexterity, huh? I'm not blind. I shouldn't have said that. Okay, so now it's connected. If you want to wear it, you just pull it apart. And if you can't get around your back, which I can't, if you can get it there, it's done. That's it. And you have your necklace. I've got too many things on here. Where is it? I must not have had it. stuck to the there can you see that then you've got your necklace when you want to take it off you carefully pull it apart and there you go so it's really really neat 
you know, to give you that independence where you don't have to find somebody. And I do that. I wake up Peyton sometimes and say, hi, I need help. Or you'll see me with necklaces that I can get over my head. This will give me the freedom to wear the other stuff. And I like having that freedom. Okay. Now, I got two wigs in this order. I've been on this quest for the absolute best hair, and I think that I wound up kind of staying with what I've got. Oh, did they take that over there? They did. They took one of my wigs. Okay, well, I'll show you this one. This looks kind of cute. I hope that it is. It's not long. It's, I don't know. I kind of like a change. This is the front. Oops. I'll have fun with it. And now that I have that wig head, I can style it. It's pretty hair. Um, it's not overly shiny. I like Timu's wigs. I think that they're really high quality. And they make a good product. The nut came off of this one. I'm going to have to get up and get the other one. So I will turn you off for just a moment. But you won't notice. Okay. Now, I wanted to tell you a bit about Timur's wigs. I have been so pleased with what I've seen for the most part. This wig that I just showed you, $7.99. Now, when you find something that you like, and this is what I did with mine too with these. I have three of these. Um, I buy a few. I have a few. <laughs> um, and it gives you the chance to wear them and have one washed while you're doing another. This one is more of a pixie cut. It's shorter. I'm not sure if I'm going to like this one or not. The hair doesn't look as natural to me. But we'll see. I like curls, but it's almost been universal that you guys like the ones that aren't curly. And then, you know, I value your opinion because you look at me in a different way than I look at me. <clears throat> but they're made in such a way that you can style them and it doesn't look like a wig. I'm just, I've been so impressed. The caps. This is the front part. There's denser hair in the front than in the back. But they breathe really well. They have adjustments in the back here to where you can make the cap smaller if you want to or if you need to. They have a guide that they go through and then it kind of clips on the back here. Small price to pay. Small price to pay. I've been real impressed with Team of Wigs, and it's given me a freedom that I have not had in many, 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 many years. Okay. So that's for the hair. Now the cats took my hair, but they didn't take what they were supposed to take. This is for them to claw. I think I'm going to try to um, uh, 
I paid ten forty eight for this. It's a a, a jute mat and it comes in different sizes this one is 11.81 inches by 23.62 inches and the way they show it they have it like mounted on the wall i was going to try to put it around my couch but i'll show you they seem to gravitate towards the Klein boards that I have for them, but they really like the couch, and they've torn apart the one in here, and they're working on my chair, and I can't afford to not have a chair. That's a nice size mat, and it does have stickies. I didn't realize that it did, but it has stickies. Is this... Oh, it's Velcro. Perfect. So it has Velcro, the Velcro stuff on the back. You can peel and stick. And I can put this on the edge of the couch where they, they claw the most. And I think that they'll gravitate towards it. It has a really neat smell. I like it. A lot of Timu things don't smell so good. This does. I'll let you know how it's going. Okay, there's one more thing before the big... Oh, two more things before the big thing. These are needles. More beading needles. They're 50 pieces of beading needles in two sizes. And they're real easy to tell apart. Oh, these are threaders. How awesome is that? I've been looking for a threader. Do you know how hard it, well, yeah, you do. I'm sure you do. To thread a needle. I can still sew. It's getting the needles threaded. It's really hard. These are little needle threaders. Two of them, yay. And then these needles, I don't know if you can tell the difference in the sizes, but they're very, very tiny. And one's a little bit longer than the other. And these will be the very small beads that I have. I did order uh, needle threaders. So I'll be getting those. I have one order that I, I put in today. I was able to use my credits on that. And um, between the price adjustments and uh, the refund that I got for, you remember the gadgets that didn't work? They refunded me on those. Um, I paid $44, including tax, for $88 without tax. So I got a nice uh, benefit there. Still my money, but you know, they honor you. They honor the, the effort that you make. They make an effort to make things right. Now those needles were a dollar forty three and they're a dollar sixty one now. Now this tray is called a beading tray and I've never used one before, but it looks like it's a great great idea. And I forgot I ordered it because I ordered another one. Now the way it works, it looks like, is you can do your beads around here. And if you have a pattern, 
you can regulate your pattern. You can see everything that you're doing and bead things as they're sitting in the tray. Put your beads in there in the pattern that you want, and then you can bead them. There are trays for beads and for your tools in the middle. And I suppose you could do this with, if you have a, a bracelet that you want to do. And it has corresponding numbers. It goes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whatever your pattern is that you decide to do. And there's for long. There are three different size necklaces that you can do with those. You have the real long one. All the way up there. And the shorter ones. I don't see why you couldn't use it for bracelets as well. This will be fun to play with and to see how well it works. I'm sure it'll work just fine, how well I can work with it. Let's see. Now that tray I paid $2.69 for, $2.69. It's $2.69 now. Okay, last but certainly not least is this. And I'm going to open it with you and we're going to just see everything that's in here. Hold on a sec. Oh my goodness, let's see. Ten pieces. It's less than it was when I bought it. Well, here's one for fifty three oh nine, and that's for thirteen pieces. Thirteen pieces, thirty two nineteen. There, so you can still. receive a great deal although I mine is 17 pieces I got it for 39.96 so the only thing that the other ones are missing are the stars let's see if there's one that's Oh man, there's some beautiful stuff in here. Really pretty stuff. Okay. We're going to open this box. And Lord willing, everything will be hunky dory. It'll be packed well. All of the other ones have been. I did purchase some individuals and I've shown them to you as I've gotten them and I think I told you that I ordered the whole set when the price went down like this I just needed to no dress or beads or anything can compare with what this set symbolizes Let me throw it on the floor. Of course, I'll be putting this away for next year. And I have a couple of two, down, two sets of partial sets that I'm going to give the girls the nativity and on um, the stars gosh and I think I have two sets of wise men also I'm not sure we will see it's packed well it's a box in a box I keep 
wanting to drop this. Okay, there are these two parts, and I think this is for the trees. These are the trees, they're foam. And there are instructions on how to put things together. This is the crush, the stable. And we'll get into the people. Are you up for it? Shall I put things together? I kind of like you. If you don't stay for the whole thing, I understand. I hope you do. The crush is kind of a balsa wood and it has it's a a stone washed effect and there are pieces that oh my goodness there's lots of pieces guys is that are there two pieces here Okay, let's see how many pieces I can have left over. Instruction manual for the crash. See. So we need These pieces are interlocking and do I bust them out? Yeah. These two pieces go along the sides at the bottom. If this gets too tedious, I can turn this off and then turn it back on. Where are we, time-wise? We're already at an hour. There was a crush at Habitat that I saw that I wanted. I, I, I should have gotten it. It was beautiful. It would have been big enough for my big ones, my big pieces. I only wanted $5 for it. But at the time I didn't have the money for it. Here's one of the pieces. This morning when I got up and I thought I was going to do this haul, I was so hoping that this would still be available to you. And pretty much it is. Um, there are three pieces. Is that this one? I think so.
have been numbered. Oh man, I think I'm gonna have to. I don't want to take your whole day. Oh, these are the other ones. Okay, here's the other piece. Okay, there are four pieces that go around the bottom. And the bottom is this one, I do believe. Oh. Well, I know these are. I can at least get this part done. You know what, I think I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and take my time putting it together and I'll turn it back on when we unbox the, the figures. Would that work for you? Go ahead and have your breakfast and I'll be right back with you. Hi. Well, I think I'm going to count my losses and, and uh, put this away for now. Um, it's really hard to put together. My fingers are just not doing well, so I'm probably gonna have to ask for help. And I'm sorry, uh, I got the base done, but part of that base I can't get together. I'm gonna go ahead and open the, um, the figurines so that we can see those. And I'm gonna put this in a bag. These are the scraps. Lacey, no. Lacey, no. No, Lacey. Um, let me see here. I'm sorry, you guys. I just don't want to break anything. And I'm finding that I'm struggling too much at this point. I don't think patience is an issue so much, but um, I'm really not feeling so hot. But I think we can get through this and uh, hold on just a second here. Let me see what we're doing. I think I'm going to put the trees together. I'm going to get a really good idea of what the set looks like. It is really, really pretty. For those of you that saw me um, unbox some of the other figurines, you know how pretty this set is. Now, it's packaged differently than the way I bought it. So, Hunter, stop. I don't expect them to listen to me, but maybe we can get through this without them disrupting the whole apple cart here. Okay. Styrofoam. 
Now the trees are easy. <laughs> I shouldn't say that because I'm not sure. But they should be. Of course, the base should have been easy, too. Well, these are felt. Isn't that interesting? Maybe I need to get my grandkids to do this. They can do it. Kids can also always do the put-together as well. This wasn't hard. That's one of the trees. And I don't know if this set... I have the star the stars that are on the wood bases that I bought individually. It looks like this is a little bit different. So I'm not going to do those. Maybe I should do another video with just unboxing of this. I don't know. the tablet out of here. Oh, those instructions I'll need to keep. I have another set of um, that denotes the empty tomb. It's really, really cool. I'm gonna to have to get it out and show it to you. It's on the mantle right now. Truly. The nativity and the, and the tomb are the beginning and the continuation of Jesus's Ministry here with us. The open tomb. That stone was rolled away. And he's he's alive. He conquered sin and death. And he's given us a way to get back to heaven. Yay. Okay. Now these are the angels. I believe this is called the Song of Joy. This set. These are absolutely gorgeous. There's a little hole in the bottom where they fit. And they stand over baby Jesus and they're praising the Lord. And worshiping. Let's see, we'll do it this way so you can see it. Tree. We'll pretend that this is the crash, which it's not, but you know. We're doing the best we can here with what we got. These are the wise men. And they come with a sheep and a donkey, I believe. Or, you know, I'm not really sure. Because this set is different. I'm not sure that my wise men came with the sheep and the donkey. I think that that was with the main nativity set. 
Yeah, see, this is, here's Mary. So it's just the way it's packaged. can't help but wonder what it was like for her when she gave birth. Just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, that's so pretty. There's the other wise man. And a shepherd. And here's another little sheep. So there are two sheep, a donkey, Mary and the baby, the three wise men, and Joseph. Well, here's Joseph. Three wise men, the shepherds, and the angels. And then there's the the two trees and the stars and the Koresh. The construction here is just incredibly good. The Koresh is, is going to be really pretty. It's just tedious for me. Um, but can you see? Isn't it beautiful? Thank you so much for sharing this with me. It means a great deal. They'll be going away for now until Christmas time. And I think that my big set is probably going to be in one place and this is going to be in another. Now I just wanted to remind you, if you enjoy the content, I would, where am I? I would invite you to subscribe. I would invite you to like the video and I would invite you to comment. Your comments mean the world to me. I try to answer every one of them. I miss one once in a while, but then it kind of shows up and I'm able to answer it then. Uh, if you make a comment and I don't respond to it, Know that it's not because I've ignored you. It's because I didn't see you. Make another comment and say, hey, I commented on such and such and I didn't hear from you. I really want to get good at this. Without your comments, I mean, my goodness, the, the encouragement, the, the loving support that you give me through this is just amazing. I'm going to look into getting a, a post office box today, I think, if... I don't, I'm kind of feeling queasy. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. Um, I'm going to push through if I can. I'm planning to get a, a post office box and I'll let you guys know uh, that contact information. If, you know, you want to send suggestions, if you want to send a hello card or whatever, I would just love it. Remember, if you're a new subscriber or, or a new uh, customer to Timu, remember the, the steps that I told you about in this description box um, that you, you open the link on your device 
and download it with the link that's in the description box and my affiliate code, which again was down here and it's in the description box. I think that we did it. I think that we're done for now. I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming. I've enjoyed our visit so much. And until next time, God bless you all. Bye-bye. Hi, thought you were done with me, huh? <laughs> well, there are a couple of things that I needed to tell you. I got on here to try to process this. And both of those wigs have been discontinued. There are tons of wigs on Timu, though. Go through and you can find um, what you're looking for. Also, um, oh goodness, I put up similar items when they're discontinued. Um, but I, I didn't find wigs that were uh, listed as being similar. Although I do know with going through there, if you go through and list, you know, put in the search bar, short gray uh, wigs, you'll see tons of them. Also, I wanted to remind you that the order link is in the description box. So you can go to the order link or the product links and uh, open it up and you'll see my order and you can click on each one and it'll take you to an ordering page. So you'll be able to order if you see something in here that you want. Well, once again, I love you guys. Thank you so much. And until next time, 